the main event, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. Well, he was the first man to amass a double-digit winning streak in the shark-infested lightweight waters in the UFC, the former interim champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson, back on the proven ground. Tony Ferguson was able to navigate the toughest division in the UFC. He's one of the most diverse, nasty strikers the UFC has ever seen. And you couple that with that college wrestling background. Every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know you have your hands full. One of the most exciting fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is an eight-point striker, outstanding submission game, has a lot of good chokes in his arsenal. He'll lean on that Darce choke, has a pretty good triangle as Watch well. That low signal. I'm telling you, <laughs> Tony Ferguson ready to prove yet again that he is one of, if not the best lightweight on planet Earth. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Bates. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Ferguson is two years the elder. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, five losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, presenting the challenger, Tony Alcacui Ferguson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Iron Michael Chow! All right, this is for UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Dateline, Anaheim, California, USA. Good to have you with us inside Honda Center tonight. This has become an annual stop for the MMA leader, and there have been any number of signature performances that have gone down inside these doors. than the Honda Center, especially in the heavyweight division. A great way to heavyweight fight, but if you go in as the champion, you just know, most nights, that belt will be the outfit. Nice body kick. Oh, nice offering there by Tony Ferguson. See if he can follow it up here, champ. I mean, he usually does. He does not let guys off the hook. Tony Ferguson is a guy that has a killer's mindset, and when he gets you hurt, he's looking to finish. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. 
Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ferguson not having it. Stays upright. Nice straight right lands. Get off first. Out of range with that one. Right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for El Kukuri, Tony Ferguson. Just misses. lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, wow. he lands, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to work very fast. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Well, you know, I don't like the E very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the Gi at some point in his life the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping Jiu Jitsu next week, too. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs. And in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's Second go. round underway. Nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. It's messed up really bad. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that. Punch, DC. Slips the punch. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice punch by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Huge block there. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Ferguson. Oh, nice slip there. Great head move. Overall, by this guy, yeah, defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 his head from side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Good stick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with oh, that. Oh, oh, wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. Well, there are a few 
nothing's more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Potentially working on a leg attack here, DC. It looks like he's attacking a heel hook. Oh, nice. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Back to his feet. Outstanding kick there by Ferguson. John does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over, and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. Take a breath and relax. You're okay. You got knocked down that round, but you're here to die. All right, you ready? You ready? Go here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh! Oh! Pitches in an elbow there. Here, you can even see him limping a little bit. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Hey. He needs to start looking at the finish line because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he got him hurt bad! Ferguson's now looking for a Darce choke. Oh, he's got a choke. Just be a matter of time. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape but it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard. Check the slick movement where he slept the leg back in the middle. Now he's gonna try to roll for a knee bar. Oh, wow, oh! He might get a finish here! It's in there deep, there you go. is to try to get your knee in the middle because that's how you ride on top in collegiate wrestling. Unfortunately, in MMA, that presents knee bar opportunities and the guy just capitalized on it. DC, you got a lot of submissions in your arsenal. I don't know that you got a rolling knee bar in there. I will never try a rolling knee bar. I'm a bit against it. I think you get beat up from that position, yeah. but some guys can pull it off. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made a pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 22 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And